Hello everyone, this is DJ and in this video, let's talk about what you can do if you cannot pay your insurance premiums anymore. But before that, don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so that you will get updates when I have new videos like this. Ano bang pwede natin gawin kapag hindi na natin mabayaran yung insurance premiums? What are the options? So first and foremost, let's talk about what will happen when you don't pay within the due date. So first thing first, um, what will happen is of course it will activate automatically the 30-day grace period. So meron namang mga grace period yung uh, mga insurance policies, di ba? So I don't know if there's any insurance policy na walang grace period. So usually with it, meron 30 days. So pwede ka pa magbayad kapag hindi ka nakapagbayad within the due date, hindi yan maglalaps ka agad. Um, if more than 30 days na hindi ka pa rin nakabayad, the reality is it becomes premium paying or if there's cash value or account value doon sa insurance policy mo, na-activate yon, So, kinakain siya ng insurance. So, technically, insured ka pa rin. Yun naman yung maganda. That's the good news. You are still insured. Of course, namabawasan lang yung pera mo doon sa insurance mo. But again, the, the primary purpose na co-cover ka niya. The third thing, kapag wala na talagang laman, no account value, no cash render value, then again, it lapses. But the good news is, you can reinstate that policy within two to three years. Depende yan sa, uh, depende sa product. Uh, but usually, two to three years, pwede mong i-reinstate. Ano bang ibig sabihin nun? So, you can pay the same um, depende if it's a whole life or VUL um, Pwede bayaran mo lahat ng kulang Let's say within 2 to 3 years Lahat ng na mismo Or um, parang imove na lang yung due date So kunyari 10 years to pay Naka 3 years ka pa lang Natigil ka ng 2 years diba? So parang oh, may 7 years to pay ka pa Kasi hindi mo nga binayaran yung 2 years So technically kailangan mong kompletuhin pa rin yung 10 years O kung ano man yung naging agreement So that will be uh, that, That's what happens Now what are your options? What can you do? You might be asking. Wala talaga akong pambayad eh. No? Ay, ano pang pwede kong gawin? Diba? So, anong mga options ko? The first option, of course, obviously, you withdraw. Uh, ang tanong lang is if there's an account value or cash surrender value. Diba? If it's a VUL, uh, we, what, that's what we call account value. Ano man yung investment side. Um, kapag whole life siya, it's a guaranteed cash value. Nasa, kung ano yung nasa proposal, kapag uh, not Pag hindi siya investment linked, diba? meaning traditional siya, uh, kung ano yun na sa proposal, yun na talaga ginagaranti yun ng insurance company na ito na yung value niya at this time. Diba? So yun yung pwede ma-withdraw just in case um, gusto mo na withdrawin. Yun lang yun. But definitely, um, it's lower than what you've paid for. No? Unless if it's a BUL plan, Natapos mo ng bayaran or more than 10 years na siya kasi kumita na siya siguro. No, but majority, most of the time, it will be significantly less than what you paid for. Because of course, there's a lot of different costs like premium charges and of course, the cost of insurance which you are charged really monthly. Diba? So, and what you can do, I would what I suggest is if you still want to be covered, you withdraw the money and then probably buy a lower coverage or the same coverage, term insurance na lang muna. Especially if you really care about your protection. Kasi yun naman talaga yung main reason bakit tayo kumuha ng life insurance. It's really for uh, the insurance, the life protection itself. The second thing that you can do is what we call extended term. So parang may extend yung policy na parang na lang siyang term insurance. Diba? So ang mangyayari nga doon, uh, pag VUL yan, magiging premium paying. Diba? So, Kung ano yung pera mo doon, account value mo, nagbabayad na siya ng premium in your behalf hanggang sa maubos. Now, see, sa whole life naman, you have to apply. You have to go to the insurance company and request na gawin nilang extended term if that's part of their options. Meaning, let's say, kung 1 million yung coverage na binili mo, 1 million ka pa rin cover pero hindi na up to age 100. So, I have a separate video for whole life insurance. Um, and, and I explained there this deeper. No, but def de technically, yun lang din yun. No? So, may extend yung term mo ng with the same coverage. Hindi na lang up to age 100. The third thing that, that you can do, the third option is what we call reduced paid up. Ito is only for um, whole life 
policies. Diba? Um, paano yon? Meaning, up to age 100 ka pa rin covered, pero liliit na lang yung insurance. Sa VUL kasi, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if there's any company that offers this, but uh, what I believe is, sa VUL, bawal mong bawasan yung coverage mo. Diba? So, yun. Kung baga, kung hindi mo talaga kaya, you just withdraw the fund. Ganon. Or, kaya mo na lang hanggang sa maubos yung, yung fund. Insured ka pa rin. Pero sa whole life, sa traditional, pwede yun. Diba? Paid ka pa rin up to age 100 ko kumpitin lang nila kung magkano na lang yung magiging coverage mo. So, you still be covered hanggang age 100 nga. Yun. So, the fourth thing, the fourth option that you can do is just let it be. Diba? So, yun nga. Um, so, kaya mo na lang munang lapse. Hopefully, walang mangyari. Diba? But again, you have the option to reinstate within 2 to 3 years. Yun yung kagandahan. So, meaning, if you still have that intention, huwag mo na lang munang galawin. Yun nga, kung mayroon yung account value or cash value, um, i-insure ka pa rin. And then, hopefully, um, yun nga, gumanda ulit yung position mo and then you can pay it again. So, that's the fourth option. And then, the fifth option, the fifth option, um, this is for VULs. Yung VUL ka, kasi what if DJ, gusto ko pa rin matuloy yung policy ko eh. Gusto ko pa rin insured ako. Kaya nga lang, hindi ko na talaga kaya bayaran. But, hindi ba pwedeng bawasan na lang yung, yung uh, budget? Ganon, kunyari from 100,000 a year, 50,000 a year na lang. Um, what we usually advise is, itap up mo na lang. So, top up mo muna, yung 50,000 mo, gawin mo siyang top up. And then, Ang charging naman ng, ng insurance, cost of insurance, is monthly, ano, maliliit na amounts every month. Uh, para siyang term insurance, kina-charge ka niya unti-unti. So, technically, dapat mura lang yun. Diba? So, ang mangyayari nun, kakainin siya unti-unti. Diba? Pwede pa nga lumaki, pwede pa nga magkumita siya on its own and can even pay for itself, hopefully. Diba? Um, so, yun, yun ang pwede mong gawin. Uh, I-top up mo na lang muna yung pera mo. Diba? And then, at least, nako-cover ka pa rin. Nai-extend niya yung lifespan. Of course, although yun nga, hindi, don't expect na kikita ng malaki. Kasi nga, kina-charge siya ng insurance. Eh. So, you do this if you really care for the coverage. Kaya lang, hindi mo na kaya bayaran yung initial commitment. Diba? Ang kaya mo lang is a lower amount. So, pwede mo siyang itap up para siya investment. And then, magpe-premium holiday siya. Magpe-premium paying siya. It pays for itself. It covers you at least for the life insurance part. No? So at least yun, meron kong pa coverage, lalo na kung malaki pa rin yung need ng family mo. Diba? We always say that you need at least 10 times your annual income. Um, the minimum, that should be the minimum uh, life insurance for anyone, especially for a breadwinner. And so again, review lang tayo, especially if you have a VUL, sorry, a, a whole life plan. If hindi yan VUL, traditional yan meron kang tatlong non for feature option. So, meaning, hindi na sasayang yung binili mo. Number one, again, cash surrender value. Whatever the amount there, you can actually withdraw. no So, at least may magagamit ka pa rin. You can use that for business, for other savings, um, for whatever purpose that you need. Number two is reduced paid up. Yun nga. So, pwede mo i-decrease yung coverage mo, tapos fully paid ka na. Wala ka na ibang babayaran. Pwede yun. No, hanggang age 100 covered na. But of course, definitely lower than your original coverage. No, and then number three, extended term. Yun nga, pwede kang i-extend the same coverage. Kunyari, bumili ka ng 1 million, 1 million pa rin. Pero maybe the next 5 years na lang or 2 years na lang. I don't know. Depende. Sila ba rin compute So again, the best way is of course, contact your financial advisor. Hopefully, alam niya yung sasabihin niya sa'yo. If you have some questions, also just drop down a comment down below in this video. And I will try my best to assist you or to at least answer some of your questions. Of course, I cannot assist you with your dependence a company or even we're in the same company like Film Life. I don't have access to your account, diba? So, but I will try my best to answer or PM me. I will leave the link to my Facebook page as well. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video also to your friends. This is DJ Demaliwat. See you again soon.